Hi there, my name is Kunberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of the demo of Felix the Reaper, an indie puzzle adventure game. The developer is Kong Orange, the publisher is Day League Entertainment. came out in 2019, it's got very positive reviews, it's currently for £22 on Steam. got single player training achievements and full controller support and for Windows 7 to 10. Uh, it's a challenging and strict 3D puzzle game about bringing humans into deadly situations. You are Felix, the ever dancing bringer of death, who is in love with life. Now, this is a game review of a demo, so what I will say is at the beginning, well, on the video itself, you know, in the, in the contents, I will um, state where the options are as in the timing. This is the options bit. Then I'll, I'll link the gameplay and then the review. So if you want to just listen to the review, press the old uh, button at the bottom and it will take you straight to the review at the end of the video. Uh, the way I tend to do demos is it's not a full gameplay, as in I've not bought the game. And I will play, I'll go through the options of all the things so you can see what there is before you buy the game. You can see what the game looks like when you play it for the first ever time, because that's what I'm doing. And then uh, you know, if you, 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 whatever, and then my review at the end. So the settings are here, and you basically just scroll through them all. You, you can, I, I don't know, you can click on them. You can do, but you can scroll. So it's a, it's a different way of doing it. I think it's quite nice. Um, here they are for your controller. Unfortunately, I don't have one. So here I am on the keyboard. W S A and D, thank goodness. And then. There's the sun clock, preview the sun position and whatnot. So I'm just going to go with it and space. I'm going to go with. Um, I've left everything as is, except music I've dropped down a little bit. And then volume I'm going to put up to about there. Uh, there is English and there is other languages as well. No idea which ones those are. I'm sorry about this. I'm not right. Okay, so uh, let's just click new game. Uh, this obviously is telling you some other games to buy. It's very rare, but Daedalic Entertainment I've done quite a few of. So here we go. All right, let's go for it. Well, Felix, on your way to your first working day as a field reaper. Hmm? As any good instructor of the Ministry of Death, I'll be guiding you through these final steps into full Field Reaper territory. <clears throat> By the way, about your little quirk, as we've discussed, some of the other Reapers find it somewhat, um, unnerving. So, while you're in the field, do try to keep the dancing to a minimum. Of course, there's your unusual motivation for becoming a Field Reaper. It's not exactly forbidden, but we have been through this, Felix. Being in love is not conducive to the kind of work we do at the Ministry of Death, especially since the object of your affection works for the Ministry of Life. I know you think your missions will provide a chance to run into her in the mortal realm. Where there's death, there must be life and all that. But you do know that you two are an impossible match. Right, Felix? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. All right, enough of all that. Your first mission awaits, Felix. Classic scenario, a hunting accident. Now, if only I could find the full briefing. Uh, hang on, Felix, sorry. Well, I guess we don't need a formal briefing for a case as simple as this one. Stay tuned for more instructions once you've reached the mortal realm, Felix, and enjoy the passage. Hmm. Oh god, it's a game of dancing, isn't it? Jesus wept. Skip. Hmm, I suppose I have to improvise a bit without the briefing. I'll just try this, I suppose. Oh, remarkable. Oh, here comes the televator. Greetings, Felix. Are you ready? Uh, 
yeah, yeah, I'm leaving it. Ah, I guess that's what you call keeping it to a minimum then. Just go here. You've got moves, that's for sure. Try here then. That's right. You cannot move into the sun. You've been paying attention, Felix. Go here now. Wait just a moment, please. Well, would you look at that? Go here. I'm trying to use the uh, WSND keys. It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, it's the mouse key. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. The sundial, of course. Just a moment. And pop. Stay where you are and press push on the sundial, Felix. Great. I'll just check if you've been paying attention. Now, can you get here? to business shall we wonderful now go to that skinny mortal and uh, uh click um <clears throat> sorry pick him up oh yes i know that must have hurt but then we got that tested too carry on you can zoom in using the scroll button by the way Now let's see what happens when time unfreezes here. Very well done, I must admit. That dancing, cuddly Felix, and... Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, no, no, this is bad. Can you hear... I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. And you've received the proper paperwork and made your preparations most diligently, of course. Medieval Europe and the 1980s New York. Some mix they gave you, huh? Well, let's get on with it. Okay, we'll just move on from the previous little exercise. Let's forget about that. Now, on to your first real job. I'll talk to you in the mortal realm again. Kill the deer. Slow bodies, new moves, okay, right. The televator traffic is terrible. The Ministry of Life televators are a nuisance, jamming up the space-time continuum. We have to... Oh! Here we are. Welcome, Felix. Now, let's do it properly this time. Always check out what happened when time froze. Ah, that's for me. I have to get 
on with other things, you know. I'll leave you on your own now. Stay in the shadows, and good day to you, Felix. Bollocks. Great work, and everything went according to plans and regulations. Just lovely. This makes an instructor proud, it really does. I believe he'll be fine on his own now. I will only be checking in every so often. Uh, I, 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 the WSND I don't seem to use. I don't just use them in the mouse. All oh, right, so I've got to mount the deer on the. Oh, right, okay. Just scroll out of it. Oh no, I can't, can I? Look at them now. I just want to check something out. Same D. Oh, that's just for moving your bloody carrot that you. Okay. So, right. So WSND is moving this around, and spacebar actually does this. Can I 
not move this thing. Einstein, can I throw that on there? Yes, I know that I have to do that, but how do I get that over there? Can I move this godforsaken big and bloody horse around? You need to move that over there, but how do you? Let's restart this. I didn't realise I could do that again.
Move the beer. Is there another one of those thingies on there? Okay. I'm not sure exactly what I was doing there, to be honest. Oh, I know, I know, I got the gist. Actually, no, I don't get the gist. I thought I'd do it. What was the... Do that for the moment. I want to get to the yeah, options. Thank you. Let's go back here. Cool. 
Um, actually, what's this? Okay. Let's just get to the options a minute. Okay, um, it's it's an interesting game, an interesting concept, but it's apparently he's ever dancing. But he, yeah, I understand he's dancing, but it's not like you're dancing to a beat. You're just it's just the way he moves. So it's a bit a bit of a strange one to say that if you were to watch the the game review, not the review, but like the little video on Steam, you think, oh, it's to do with dancing. You've got to do some sort of moves and slide and stuff. No, you don't. Uh, the WSA and D keys don't do anything except move your um, screen uh, around, so you can actually see the different parts. Um, scrolling does your zooming in and zooming out. It's your left mouse button that does everything. Uh, space is your um, lighting up the the shadows as it were um, but the, the interesting thing is uh, what I like about it is it, the, the quality is quite decent uh, it shows you a little um, image of what you have to do what you know what what's what's happening a little video clip and then you have to try and get what you need to do um, I didn't realize at first when I was starting to move that little horse and drawn carriage thing that you could actually move it two or three times. I mean, I didn't understand the point of moving in the first place. It didn't seem to do anything. Um, but, you know, I did. Uh, but it's... You don't die. I'm obviously, he's, I'm assuming he's dead. But it, you don't die. So when you're getting touched with the, uh, the, the, the sun and it moves the shadows back, you don't lose any health. I couldn't see any health. There was no health bars anywhere. There was nothing down here. There was nothing up. There was nothing. It was just like shh, and then you go back again. So you can never die in this game, uh, which I suppose is good. Um, but kind of, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 just like I say. It's a, it's an interesting game. It's got interesting puzzles. I like the fact that you got a little video clip at the beginning, like I say, and at the end. Um. It's just it was a bit confusing what you have to do. I know it sounds really sad considering it looks like the most basic game ever, but in some parts it was just like, well, okay, I have to get that over to the hook, but like, I couldn't just move it to the hook because of the, I had this horse-drawn carriage in the way. I didn't know you could move the thing again. I thought that it's the typical, you move that, move here, move that, move here, but yeah. Um, it, it, it's just... I can say, when you look at the video, you think, ah, oh, definitely dancing, but it's not. You're just moving around. You don't even have to dance, in all fairness. And there's no dance moves, so it's just sort of wiggling around. So, no, it's... If you like puzzle games, and you like games that kind of test your wit a little bit, but they're not too taxing, although I got lost briefly, um... But they're quite relaxing, something to do, you know, do the different levels and, and stuff like that. Um, then you'll probably like this. It's Daedalic Entertainment, and I've played quite a few games of theirs in game reviews and in full gameplays. Um, so I do recommend Daedalic anyway, they're a, a brilliant publisher, but of course they're the publisher, not the developers. Always. Uh, this one obviously isn't, it's Kong Orange. And um, yeah, it's quite, quite decent. Uh, a decent game. Uh, obviously, you can use it with a controller. Might be a little bit easier um, than the keyboard. So you know, may maybe that's the the best option. And it'd be nice if you could, like, say, dance to the music. I suppose you'd sort of move your head back and forth, like you you are, but you're not. You're just moving your character. Anyway, um, like I said, if you if you want to uh, watch the, um, if you've just skipped away here to the uh, the actual review, um, you can look at the beginning part, it tells you a bit about the options and also I've linked the gameplay if you want to actually watch the gameplay uh, if you think well okay he sounds like an interesting game I'll have a look or nah not, not so that I don't want to bother no, it's entirely up to you, I'm trying to change the way that I do game reviews, it doesn't mean all to anybody who's never seen the game review that I've done but for those that have you'll understand why I'm doing this so I am trying to change as my um, 
as, as people subscribe or not subscribe have, have mentioned things so I've, I've taken things on board uh, for new ones obviously I'm not going back in time <clears throat> anyway hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, game review of the demo of Felix the Reaper please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up if you like this video put comments in the comments box do you like this game um, is it something you would like to play I don't know I, I don't know many people who's got this and even heard of it to be honest Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.